they're all in good moods because Tom Kerridge is here with his self-sourcing chocolate and cherry put. How do we make this, please? Honestly, it's super simple, super easy. It's the bit I know Vernon's been looking forward to all morning. Cho <laughs> yes. Chocolate, chocolate. Since yesterday and we Since found yesterday. out you were on, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, listen, we start off with sugar and butter softened, mixed together. Now, into that, we add three eggs. Now, these are three eggs beaten. And we're just going to add them gently and slowly. And what will happen is the mix will kind of half look like it's going to curdle. But don't worry, because the rest of the ingredients go into it and bring it together. Okay. So essentially, we're just making a, a cake batter, basically, a nice pudding batter. A bit like a chocolate brownie is the best way of yes. talking about it. But the idea of it being self-sourcing is that when we build it together, we put a compot in it at the bottom so that it starts to bring all those flavours yeah, together and it's got this gorgeous <laughs> flavour to it. So in there, we've got dream butter, sugar, and we've got three eggs. Into that, we're going to put some milk. We're going to put about one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Tom, this is outrageous. Mm. A pinch of salt. Salt is always good with chocolate. It really helps to bring yeah. out flavour. You think salt caramel works really well with those sweet yes. flavours. Good pinch of salt into that. Some baking powder. Some self-raising flour. Now, the self-raising flour is really important, the flour you need for body, but self-raising, so it gives you that puff, a little mm. bit of the air into it. That goes in. Cocoa powder, because that's where that lovely flavour of chocolate comes from. Oh. And we'll just bring that Sorry. together. I'm Sorry. And we'll just... What you'll see what happens, where that mix was a little bit wet, it'll start forming this lovely batter. And just do it slowly to start with. You don't want to do it too quickly. Yeah, I noticed that you got the old whisker on. Um, on slow. On Otherwise, yeah. you'll end up with all the dry ingredients going all over your kitchen. Make, and you definitely going. don't want that. So, as mm -hmm. that mix begins to come together, you can speed it up a little bit. That is so relaxing to watch. Battery it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's very therapeutic. Well, mm. So, you've got no hassle with the cable. And there's that noise. That noise reminds me of like a childhood memories, just yeah. those kind of thing of your mum making a cake. Do you know what? Cake, this, that... this feels very childhood to me. You know, like, when, when you say chocolate pudding, I'm not the biggest chocolate eater, so sometimes I worry that it's always going to be a bit too sickly or a little bit too rich. Well, the idea this of it is, is it's that dark flavour, dark mm. chocolate. So into that, some dark chocolate pieces will go in. And then we're going to put some fresh cherries. If you've got them, you can get them. They're great. You've got to stone them and pit them. However, you can use... Now, these are frozen cherries. Work okay. beautifully. OK, defrosted. They go in. You could also use tin cherries if you wanted to. All of those kind of flavours work really well. And if you haven't got cherries, raspberries would work, strawberries would work really nicely. Oh, yeah. And then you just mix together this lovely batter. You need those chocolate pieces, because as they melt, they'll give it like little nuggets, little nuggets of that lovely kind of chocolatey flavour. And that is essentially the batter mix. Now, I'm going to bake these as a kind of one whole tray. Now, you've got individual ones in front of you. I say individual, I mean, that's probably enough for two I've or three a, in there, but... A family size or, portion, yeah, but or a Vernon portion. Either way, either way. <laughs> so into the bottom here, I'm going to put some mm. cherry conserve. Now, you can find cherry jams, you can use that if you want to. This is actually cherry pie filling, ready-made ah. cherry pie filling, and it works beautifully for this. You, just you can just buy that it, in the supermarket. Buy it at the supermarket. Now, listen, the new book is all about it trying to use as many kind of unashamedly supermarket products as mm. possible. It's real-life recipes. It's for people who are busy, got kids... Got time saving. You get time saving. Mm. You get in from work. You know, it's a Tuesday night. That's it. How many people are actually making a start at the main course on a Tuesday night? You might make a pudding, or this is something that you can do as a special treat or something for the weekend, OK? So the cherry kind of compote and conserve goes on the bottom, and then the batter mix kind of goes on the top, all right? And you just almost kind of like evenly spread it out, making sure that it reaches into the edges. Absolutely. And what happens as it bakes, it kind of finds its own surface, it settles. You could put that on toast. You, you, you yeah, know I what would you add, there's, yeah. there's that thing, you remember as a kid, licking yeah. the bowl, finishing the cake mix, making sure that... I mean, this is the perfect one for that. Yeah. It? I mean, it's absolutely delicious. But you can see from it all those lovely kind of flavours. Oh. And it is a bit of a riff on a... A Black Forest Gatto, isn't mm. it? The idea of those yes. chocolate and cherry being mixed together. But now, it's a Tom Carriage riff. Well, this is it. And then to finish that, to go with it, the thing that makes it that lovely kind of self-sourcing, here we've got some more brown sugar, some more cocoa powder. OK. Mm. And then onto that, I'm going to pour 250 mils of boiling water just wow. to get it so it's dissolved. I thought your kettle ran out then. I do, do you know what? I you, that's not a cup of tea, is it? There's not enough in there for a cup of tea. Not. That's not a proper cup of tea, <laughs> and that is there. And you mix that together, and then this 
Is that the self-sourcing? This is the self-sourcing. So this you pour over the top and it looks very liquidy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you go, well, this doesn't look right, does it? Going on top of a cake mix. But as you pour it over, and you're going to put it into the oven and we bake it at 180 degrees for mm -hmm. around about 40 to 45 right. minutes. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes out, it looks like <gasps> this. So we keep our fingers crossed as we take a Look spoonful of this. For the goo. Mm -hmm. And the bottom, look, look at that. that, so that you could there. turn it upside mm. down, mm. and you've got this lovely kind of gooey sauce, the cherry oh, sauce that goes word. with it, oh. where it's been well, baked it's in the absolutely bottom. Absolutely delicious. You've made my day. And with so, that, thank you very much. Big splash of cream. Uh, thank you. <laughs> right, gotcha. for all the details of that recipe absolutely. and many more delicious ones by our chefs, head to our free this morning app.